Let's talk about how to find the pooled standard deviation when you're working with SPSS and a multiple imputation data set. Now, multiple imputation data sets means we have copies of our original data set that had missing data. So imputation zero means our original data set. In this case, we have 2,487 cases and some of those had missing data. So what we did is under the assumption of missing at random, we created 20 multiply imputed data sets where now we have complete case data for all 2,487 students across many different variables of interest. Go to, if you go to descriptives and you ask for the mean and the standard deviation, and here's variables of interest for me, you'll get some output and you'll notice that it calculates the standard deviation for each of the multiply imputed data sets for all the variables that we want. And at the bottom, it gives you this nice pooled mean, but it doesn't give you the pooled standard deviation. So how do you get the pooled standard deviation? Well, under Rubin's rules, the pooled estimate is just the average of the individual estimates. So here's a little way that I use to calculate this. I go ahead and highlight my table and I click copy. I open up my Excel, a new Excel, and I just paste in my, my chart from SPSS. Now what I'm going to do is calculate the pooled standard deviation. So down here, I'm gonna get the pooled standard deviation. And what that is going to simply be is the average of all the individual multiple imputation data sets. So if I go ahead, I'm gonna click on these. I'm using Windows computer, so I'm gonna do a control click to highlight all of the standard deviations in this column for the 20 multiply imputed data sets. I let up the control button when I'm scrolling so I don't highlight too many things. Just want the standard deviations. Okay. And when you have all 20 standard deviations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, it's always good to double check. Close your parenthesis and hit enter. And now you've got the average you've got your pooled or average in this case standard deviation to match those pooled means. If I'd like to get the standard deviation, the pooled standard deviation for all these other variables of interest, I simply highlight, drag my cursor to the corner of the cell, drag it over, and now I have my pooled means and standard deviations. The last thing I'm gonna do is convert this to a number and you can change the number of decimal places to what you prefer. My standard in my discipline is two decimal places, so I leave it at that. And there you go.